one significant source of stress and anxiety that you may be experiencing when pursuing your own civil case or defending a case is this fear, this concern that the lawyer who represents the other side, the opposing counsel, is going to be very aggressive and he or she is going to try to bully you when they're asking you questions during your deposition, at trial, at administrative hearing, or at any other type of hearing where you have to face them and answer their questions. And this is a legitimate concern for several reasons. Number one, quite a few attorneys out there are really aggressive and they are trying to bully the other side because maybe they enjoy it, because they think that this will help them win. And they often like to show off in front of their clients. They like to show off how aggressive they are and how zealous they are when they're trying to defend their side of the story. So how do you control that stress and how do you control your fear of the attorney who represents the other side? Well, first I would like to talk about the simple trick that I learned many years ago from my mentor. And this was really helpful to me in my dealings with very aggressive attorneys. And then I'll show you a very short part from the movie Matrix, from the first Matrix movie that illustrates this point. So the idea is very simple. You are in a civil case. You're not in a criminal case. Nobody is going to put you to jail. Nobody's going to touch you physically. Nobody's going to punch you or hurt you or torture you. None of that is going to happen. The most the other lawyer has in his arsenal is raising his voice maybe yelling at you, maybe making certain facial expressions, maybe smirking a little bit or having some kind of grin on his face that suggests that he already won the case, which usually is bluffing and not much beyond that. The moment you know that the other side cannot do more than simply raise their voice or repeat the same question over and over or accuse you of lying again verbally without any physical contact, with you without being able to hurt you physically in any way. The moment you realize this, this should take much of the fear and much of the anxiety of, uh, uh, of those types of lawyers away from you. And if you're well prepared for your testimony, if your attorney rehearsed with you and prepared you for the most difficult questions that the other side might be asking you during any type of testimony, this should pretty much take care of your anxiety and of your fear because you need to realize that you have nothing to fear. What's the worst that's going to happen? Maybe you will win your case. Maybe you will, lose the, you will lose your case. It will be unfortunate, but things happen. The other lawyer's behavior cannot hurt you in any significant way. Now, it would be a mistake to give in to that type of bullying and aggressive behavior by either raising your own voice and becoming equally aggressive and showing that you react emotionally that the lawyer got to you or doing the opposite, becoming very soft, uh, crying or acting like the other lawyer got you out of your emotional balance. The best thing to do during the time when the lawyer, the opposing counsel is trying to bully you is act exactly the same way as you would if they weren't doing it. The moment you show to the lawyer on the other side that their behavior, their aggressive behavior does not affect you in any way because you're invincible, your story is solid, you have nothing to be afraid of, you're telling the truth, you have nothing to be anxious about. The moment they see that they cannot destabilize you emotionally, they're going to know that their bullying and their aggressive behavior is pointless. And let your lawyer defend you during any such proceeding. Let the lawyers fight between, between themselves. You don't need to engage. You act like you would normally act as if you were almost like, like a robot, like you don't have any emotion. And you're always the bigger person. No matter how nasty and angry the lawyer becomes, you are not going to go there. You're not going to lower yourself to their level. And now let me show you that part from, from Matrix that illustrates this point.
All right, so just like you saw in this part, the moment you realize that the words that are coming at you, the verbal attack, the bullying, the moment you realize that these words are not bullets and they cannot physically hurt you, the moment you truly feel that and you are aware of it, which is not that much to ask, these words will just fall in front of you and they will be totally harmless to you. The key again is to be ready for your testimony, to go over the important facts of your case, to go over the potential side of the people who you're opposing, of what they're going to say, and to be ready for the most difficult questions. So um, if your lawyer doesn't do it, ask your lawyer to ask you the most difficult questions. Dare them to guess what the other lawyer is going to attack you with and ask you. If you and if you're, not, if you're ready for the most difficult questions that might be asked, you will be ready for all the other questions. And if your lawyer cannot quite guess the questions that you might be asked, think yourself, put yourself in the opposing counsel's position. Imagine if you were representing the other side. Imagine if you were paid a lot of money to represent the other side's interest. What questions would they be asking you? Chances are that most of the time your guesses will be correct. And then take those questions, ask those questions yourself and try to answer them. By eliminating surprise from the testimony and by being ready to answer the most difficult questions to the best of your ability and by keeping this simple trick in mind you will take the stress and anxiety from the process of testifying and answering the opposing attorney's questions and you will not let their aggressive behavior and their bullying get to you at all. I hope you find this information helpful in your own dealings with aggressive and bullying attorneys and best of luck to you.